Hi, my name is Sarita Merricks, and I'll be doing my journal club on an article, Tofacentinib versus Methotrexate and Rheumatoid Arthritis. And what to uh, Tofacentinib is, is basically, um, these, this is a, um, these are inhibitors that have therapeutic applications in the treatment of cancer and inflammatory disease. So that um, and methotrexate, we're comparing those and seeing which one uh, treats is more effective for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. So first we have the um, have all the citations and the authors and stuff. So first for the background, methotrexate is the most frequent used first line rheumatoid arthritic rheum rheumatic drug. Uh, it reports the findings of a phase three study of the monotherapy with to tofacentinib, which is an orogenous kinase inhibitor, um, which those inhibitors have therapeutic applications against the treatment of, of cancer inflammatory disease, like I mentioned before. And so basically, as compared with the methotrexate monotherapy in patients with rheumatoid arthritis who had not previously received methotrexate in therapeutic doses of methotrexate. So basically, we're just trying to figure out the effectiveness of um, which one is more effective in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. And for these, the, um, the primary, the objective is um, basically a primary goal of this trial was to demonstrate the superiority of methotrexate compared to tofacentinib in patients with the rheumatoid arthritis. So amongst all of those patients, uh, it was randomly assigned 958 patients who received the 5 milligrams or the 10 milligrams of tofacentinib twice daily. Um, compared to receiving a methotrexate at a dose incrementally increasing 20 milligrams per week, so over a period of eight weeks. So this trial was basically, um, it had it 958 um, patients, um, and the criteria for this was you had to, um, you had to be at least 18 years of age and had to receive a diagnosis of active rheumatoid arthritis and have art active rheumatoid arthritis as well, which was defined as the presence of six or more joints that were tender or painful and six or more swollen joints and had either a uh, erythrocyte sedimentation rate of more than 28 millimeters per hour or a C-reactive protein level of more than seven milligrams per liter. So um, also it had three also, it had to have a positive test for IgM, rheumatoid uh, factor, or antibodies. Okay, so that was the inclusions. So, basically, with all that being said, that after um, rounding up the, the 956 patients, I mean 958 patients, 958, 56 patients received the study of drugs. Now, during this trial, some um, patients end up dropping out because of the side effects of the tofacentinib. The tofacentinib did cause um, um, 31 patients, 31 out of the 770 patients actually developed herpes zoster after um, receiving this medic, receiving tofacentinib versus the only 2 out of 186 patients that received methotrexate had um, developed her herpes zoster. Also, it was confirmed that with the tofacentinib, patients develop the cases of lymphoma, a form of cancer, actually developed in five patients, and one developed in the patients um, that only one developed in a patient I was receiving methotrexate. So the tofacentinib was associated with increasing and creatinine levels and low density and uh, high density lipoprotein. So it increases the it increased the lipo um, LDL and HDL levels too. So as you can see, between the two so far, the tofacentinib is the one that's actually causing more side effects versus the methotrexate. However, 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 the um after. Um, after all 
after the cases of um, after the study of the methotrexate and the tofacentinib, there was uh, all females, all females, and it was all white females. So that and the ages was had to be over 18 but the mean age was between um, 50 48 years old and 50 so these were older patients receiving both of these medications to determine which one's more effective in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis and um, there was uh, Like I said, it was a total of 958 people. An efficacy and a safety analysis included data from all patients who randomly received at least one dose of the study medication and had a baseline measurement, at least one post-baseline measurement for analyzing the co-primary endpoints. And those, um, those primary endpoints was the, um, was the six months of the mean baseline change in the medication. And um, that ranged from 0 to 448, with the highest score being the most joint damage. So, basically, the, the um, tofacentinib was the highest, had the highest sharp score out of um, the two because it was more effective. However, it did cause more side effects, uh, more side effects versus the um, methotrexate however but with methotrexate methotrexate is the first line treatment for rheumatoid arthritis but it was just a study to um to find out the with the jk uh, inhibitors can be more effective clinically um could be more effective functionally and it could be more effective ra uh, radiologically um, than methotrexate in the patients with the rheumatoid arthritis that who have that have not um, been treated for uh, treated with methotrexate. So, if you haven't never been treated with methotrexate, they want you to take the tofacentinib and see how the, your body will react to it and see if it will actually um, help with the um, the uh, the joint pain. So the benefits of the tofacentinib. Tofus sentinel need to be considered in the context of the risk of adverse effects because even though it has so much um, more risk factors um, pertaining to the side effects, um, the most common serious side effect is really only the infections, um, you know, um, developing herpes zosters or um, versus the patients um, receiving uh, the methotrexate. So, overall, um, with the study, um, like I said, uh, it was confirmed that um, there was cases of cancer of the lymphoma developed in five patients of the tofacentinib and just one of the methotrexate. However, with the um, in in the patients who had not previously received methotrexate, a therapeutic doses of methotrexate, tofacentinib. Monotherapy was superior to methotrexate in reducing signs and symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis and inhibiting the progression of structural joint damage. And the benefits of tofacentinib need to be considered in the context of the risk of the adverse effects. So basically with this, I feel like the strength of this, this, um, this case, this case study, or this study was... Uh, that it was a large case study, which allows you to be able to um, to test more people to see um, the effectiveness of everyone to see if it's more common in which which um, which um, which group, and so it it was it, you were able to find, even though with the weakness it, it was only females and it, it was only between the age of forty eight and fifty. So it really wasn't a large, it was a large um, study, but it was, it only, it only, um, it only focused more on females 
white females. But with that being said, um, the pharmacological treatment of the underlying causes of arthritis is the best treated by the first line treatment of the methotrexate compared to the tofacitinab. And methotrexate does decrease rheumatoid arthritis as well as having the side effects associated with tofacitinab. So the benefits of tofacitinab be, needs to be considered, although the risks of adverse effects need to outweigh the, the, the benefits of the, um, the tofacitinab should outweigh the risk factors if you want to give that. So the most common serious side effects were infections, herpes ulcers, um, lymphoma, and are reported more among tofacitinab than methotrexate. So all in all, I feel like the um, the method, we should just stick with the methotrexate since that's, that's something we know that works for rheumatoid arthritis, doesn't cause those extra side effects. So we just should stick with that and, um, and go with that. All right, thank you for your time, Dr. Robson. Have a good day.